Ah. Hey man, what's happening with you? Nah, I'm gonna take off this fake ass Atlanta accent. Know what I'm saying? That's Chicago and Detroit right there all day. Know what I'm saying? Y'all was ready. Anyway, <sighs> fix this goddamn camera. Stevens Transport. Oh, God. Oh. oh, my goodness. Tell you what happened, man. I'm, I'm down here at Stevens Transport. I'm doing whatever whatever it is that I have to do, yada, yada, yada. I'm saying I'm doing the application. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I'm saying I'm, they, they're doing the background check. They're doing this. They're doing all this goddamn stuff. All of it. They're doing all this stuff. And guess what happens? They talk about the person who was at... Well, the person working at safety was basically just letting motherfuckers just, you know, just... in. that person, that individual left. After he left everybody, after he, she done let everybody in, that person dipped off. Then a new person came, talk about, look, he, he or she got to go through half the shit that the person approved and review it. They get to my shit. They like, yo, he got such and such and such on his record. He, he, he you know, he came from night. Well, why did he get fired at night? Why was he terminated? I told you, if you if you follow talking with Kev, you know, like, yo, I did that shit and I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm talking to the lady or whatever the case may be. I'm like, look, excuse me, please, listen, listen, please. I, I'm, <laughs> is there anybody who I can talk to in regards to this matter specifically? Like, listen, you know, the person who you want to talk to, she comes back on a Wednesday, so you, you, you'd have to wait. I mean, I bet I'll wait till Wednesday. Well, I don't know if you can wait till Wednesday because, you know, you have to be inside the hotel and it's at Stephen's expense. How much is a hotel? Uh, the Stephen's price. We, we're not too sure, so we have to figure it out, you know? Like, listen, bitch. Oh. <laughs> listen, lady. On some G stuff. The, I'm from New York. First generation born here, family from a small village in Georgetown, Guyana. I know how to finesse shit. Cop back to the hotel, yada, yada, yada. Did what I did, did what I did. I'm in the hotel right now. I ain't drop a dime on a motherfucker. No, huh? I ain't drop a dime. Mm -mm. I ain't, ain't spending nothing. Mm -mm. I don't give a fuck how much it costs. I don't give a fuck how, how, how medium, how, how, how cheap, how expensive. I ain't paying. You bugging. If I would have paid now, knowing what I know, knowing that I can't really get into Stevens like that, I would have been tight. <clears throat> so, lady comes back, it's Wednesday, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> it's me. It's the person who I was supposed to link with, via, you know, who I linked with via YouTube. I was supposed to run for. And we sit down, we have the conversation. She, and the woman is just a, this woman was a straight up B. Word, man. Like, I, she asking me these questions. He asked, she's, she's asking these questions, but like, like a heavy heart. She's like, whoa, whoa. She had like a smoker's voice. She's like, well, where were you? And I'm like, man. <sighs> Long story short, though, man, your boy can't fuck with Stevens Transport right now, man. They had to uh, check my work history. They had to do a lot of things. And to they basically had to verify my work history. And once it... I, I didn't lie on my application. I did not lie. But it, it, there should be no buts. For a year and a half, I said I worked here at this job, specifically the post office. I told you guys, before I came into trucking, I was at the, I was at the post office for a year and a half. Anybody who works at the post office, when I was a CCA, City Years Carriers Assistance, I was helping the, the, the rural carriers deliver the mail, drop the packages. I was on all types of crazy routes in New York and Yonkers specifically. Shout out to Yonkers. Um, but what happens is at the post office is that even though I was there for a year and a half, what happens is after you're hired, they give you a week's vacation. 
And after that week's vacation, it's like you technically are rehired. So to Stevens, that like, it was like a red light almost. It's like, wait a minute. This guy is saying he worked at the post office for a year and a half. Yet when we call the post office, they're verifying he worked at the post office for four months. I'm like, impossible. There's no fucking way I worked at the post office for, for just four months. I did two winners. That's how I know. Like, yo, you, 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 I, what? Are you nuts? Four months? You stupid? You stupid? Four months. I've been there. Two winners? Yo. You know what it's like to deliver a motherfucking package that probably way more than you do? That shit that say heavy, you know, it shit got like the red and the black, it should say heavy on it. And you know you're supposed to get like a, you know, it's either you're supposed to have a nigga help you or you're supposed to have to, a, a freaking thing. I was brand new, so they wasn't giving me shit. <sighs> Long story short, man, I can't fuck with Stevens right now, man. So you know what that means. Back to bum ass trends and... It was like, look, you know, you, you got a little experience. So what we'll do for you is if if you stay at Trans Am for six months, which is, it's, it's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like I've been there for damn near going on too. So I, I figure I'd do four more months with Trans Am and then come back. Then it's like, yo, do I even want to do that? <clears throat> when I'm on the East Coast and it's like, yo, 36 cents, I might just fuck around and just like, yo, I, I could consider prime. I could really consider prime at that point. And instead of 36 cents at Stevens, I could try to be on the East Coast and do 42 cents. Do something regional. Like, I'm not too sure, man. Like, it's just, Lord have mercy. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it, dog. Like, I don't even know how to explain this shit, man, but... Stevens. I understand that they gotta do what they gotta do, but <sighs> that shit, like, oh man. I guess it is what it is, all right? Can't complain, can't bitch about this shit. You just gotta do what you gotta do, figure it out later, and then just keep it going, yo. That lady though, man. She go on like a ship pussel. Yo. Lad. Yo. Wanted to, you know, give she more to scunt one fucking cuff. Lad, but. You know, nonetheless, it is what it is, man, you know? So, if you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, Chucking with Kev. I gotta call my mass trans hand back and go deal with these motherfuckers. Go deal with these lies. It is what it is, man. What a what a buzzkill. What a buzzkill. I don't know what to say, man. Be on the lookout. The professional cameras on this way. Chugging with Kev. Like, comment, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Chugging with Kev. Know what I'm saying this. <sighs> Fuck it, you know. Just gotta, you know, roll with the punches, man. <sighs> love yourself. Become the best version of yourself. Greatest version of you. One love. Bless.